Hey, it's High Rod Ronnie. I didn't know if I told you or not, but I had a fire in the around the fuse box in there. I had a little wire short out on me, so I had to rewire a lot of stuff. I've been doing that today. Rain off and on. I had to re rewire the fan. I still got to redo all this. I got to make them about eight inches longer each wire so they'll go up under this fender in a harness see the cluster but little gauge panel there I put in made walk around here and show you that then I'll show you what else is going on I took the seat out a guy told me to take the seat out and I got plenty of room in here to lay down to but I put a uh, junction block right up there that I made a uh, cable coming from the battery feeding into it. So all my power for everything is coming from the junction box. There's the panel, little toggle switch panel I made. It was a, once upon a time, a door seal for a 66 Mustang. So now I got, that's the ignition. Fuel pump. Fan. Panic button. She's ready to go. A lot of work. I love it though show you what else is going I've been doing this also working on my son's 68 GTO HO four-speed hideaway headlights 390 safety track in it that's the old matching number motor right here that's a 428 stroker got a stroked out to 487 cubic inches got a nice cam in it Nice uh, 800 Holly. So I've been cleaning parts and everything. Everything's in the trunk I've cleaned up. And then I power washed under here and degreased it. Now all we have to do is paint this. But that's going to be a nasty goat right there. Might even run with Rusty. <laughs> yeah, I was happy to get that done really tore me up when that I saw smoke coming from back there at the firewall I said well I thought maybe something dripped on a header that wasn't it and I looked in there when I looked in the fuse box was flaming so luckily I got this on and off switch right there cut that off so that cut the power off <coughs> she coming along though All right, I'll let you know how things are going. She's about ready for the road. Later.